talking about stacking today and uh, the first line you stack, at least the way I do it, I will use a release and a clip and I'm going to drop my line back 30 feet. I drop my main line down. You can stack 10 feet, 15 feet, 20 feet intervals, whatever you want. But when you lower the ball down with your first line, 20 feet, I'm going 25. Now you're going to take and you're going to put that clip into the downrigger cable for your first stacked line. So I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so I've got my release clip. I'm going to put that in. I bury it all the way back. That's plenty on these mini clips. Then I'll take the clip and you open it up. You just put it right into the clip it right into the line like that. Now the stack one line. What I like to do is take the reel and loosen up the drag. We'll put that in the down uh, rod holder. Then we'll take the first rod, and I like to open my bale up. Now I'm going to take the rod, the uh, downrigger back as to the depth I want. In this case, I'm going to go to 50 feet. I hit 50. My left thumb is holding on to my bale. Click that, put that in the rod holder. And while I was doing that, my right hand, I tightened up on the drag on this rod. So now I've got my two rods are set up, they're stacked. This one's at 50 feet on the downrigger. This one's at 25 feet stacked. So that's the first stack. You'll see in a moment after we get a fish, how we stack when you have the line on the top, how you stack on top of each other. And we'll show you that in just a second. Our top line just went off. We missed the fish, but now it's time to restack. So stacking is a great way of keeping your, your bottom line running and in the water and not disturbing it. And what we're going to do is we're going to stack on top of our stacking clip. The way I do that, I have this little device, and uh, kudos to Anton Jones of Daryl and Dad's Family Guide Service. He showed me this technique. Basically, you have a shower clip, a three ounce weight, and a release. And it's very simple, but very effective technique. So I'm going to show you how right now. So remember, we're down 50 feet on the downrigger ball, and we have the clip on the first stack at 25 feet up. I'm going to take my rod tip, and I'm going to hold it about a foot ahead, and I'll show you why in a minute. You take your line, you put it into your clip just like that, and now your shower curtain clip, you're going to reach over, going to just clip it right into the downrigger cable. So that goes like that. And just snap that shut. And now it's all set to go. So here's the cool thing. I'm going to take, I'm going to release, uh, hit my release on my reel, and I'm going to count 25 pulls. You know what a pull is. One pull equals a foot. One, two, three. And what's going to happen is when this weight hits the clip that's on the line, you're going to feel it. There it is. It's going to lose, lose tightness when you bump it. And now all you do is go ahead and close your bale. 
put it in the downrigger holder and it's all ready to go. It's fishing. It's right down there. That shower clip and the weight is sitting on top of the other stack clip. One thing is to be aware of is you can't tighten this down as much as you would normally tighten it down. The reason is if you tighten it down all you're going to do is bring that weight up. But you don't have to. When you get a fish, it's going to do the fish dance. It may pop off the release or you may give it a little, little jerk and it'll pop off that way. So just be aware it's not going to be quite as tight looking as your other rods. Not a big deal. Take a look at that tip right there. You can see how that's not bent over quite as much. But it's still enough. You can stack on top of stack, on top of stack, on top of stack. So I've done three, four, five stacks in a row. When the top line is hitting and you still want to keep that bottom line down there for something deep, for example, maybe you're on Cleellum Lake and you're fishing 200 feet down for the Lakers and you want to run a line at 30 feet for the Kokanee. You can do that with this system. So that upper stack, stack set of lines, when it's time to bring them in, all those clips will be up against the first clip and you'll just take them off one at a time. It's a great system. I encourage you to get the components and give it a try and see if you like it. When kokanee fishing, don't be afraid to try some different things. What I've got there is a sling blade and then a flat, thin uh, lure, and then I've got my micro hoochie underneath. And look at that beautiful uh, action that gives you. It's been just an amazing morning bite. We started out by the dam and from six to eight, it was nonstop fishing. It slowed down a bit. Now we're uh, heading back down lake. We're getting the stragglers. And here's one coming in right now. This is a little guy, so he's gonna get hoisted. Okay. <laughs> You do run into these. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Hold it up. You do run into these. This is a northern pike minnow, and he's going to be bait. I'm going to cut him up and use him for lake trout. Sometimes the difference between an average day and a great day can be just those little details like the stacking information we showed you today on the video. This is the result of a good couple days of fishing. So I hope uh, you have success and I'll see you on the water and online.